so I was perusing the New York Times over the weekend, mm -hmm. and this article catches my eye. It asks, should black people or people of color wear sunscreen? Mm -hmm. uh, the article cites one professor of dermatology and epidemiology at Brown University looking at the relationship between UV light exposure, skin color, and skin cancer. Okay. And so what he finds is the relationship between those li with lighter skin tones. Say there's no such relationship between sun exposure, skin cancer, and dark-skinned individuals, which mm. I, I thought, this seems kind of crazy to me because uh, everything I've heard was, as, as, as people of color, you still have to put skin uh, uh, sunscreen I on. read that article and I thought, uh-oh. Do you wear sunscreen? Um, I probably should wear it more often. I guess mm -hmm. in my moisturizer. Morgan? I, I don't. I know. You don't? I don't. Well, I, about I, a day I actually put beach. on suntan lotion. What? Is that? Is what? That, yeah, I want to get tan and more tan. I, is that, wait, no, uh, oh, you, wait. You know what, okay. hold, let's bring in Dr. Janine Downey, uh, dermatologist. Wait, I'm gonna get in trouble, because I'm, before <laughs> oh, no, we even I get, like before, before we even get into this. You are gonna get in trouble, Morgan. You are gonna get in trouble. Gonna get in trouble. So doctor, You're gonna get in what trouble. do you think of that? Is that terrible? Uh, yeah, that's terrible. Every day, rain or shine, January through December, regardless of your ethnicity. And so I respectfully disagree with some parts of the New York Times article, Al, and I'm with you. And Janelle, you should be wearing it every day, all the time. I do it when I'm going swimming or if I'm outside. You know what, my kids, just we were just on vacation this past mm -hmm. week, and they don't like it because this it doesn't blend in, so they feel like it's like war paint, mm -hmm. if so you will. It's an SPF of 30 or above every single day. There's micronized forms of titanium dioxide that you can is actually that, what that, is? that actually can rub into the skin, yeah. even even skin that's pitch black like this cell phone when the screen is off. Okay, here's the question. And I, I get when, again, when I was a kid, you know, I'd be putting on my mom would make us mm -hmm. put on sunscreen, and you know, my wise guy friend, would, oh, why are you wearing sunscreen? <laughs> You're already tan. Uh -huh. uh, 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 I'm resisting the urge to use anything. But anyway, right. uh, can dark Darker skin people get get skin cancer from right. sun exposure. Okay, so absolutely, darker skin people can get skin cancer from sun exposure. Yeah. So the article was talking about how um, you know melanomas that are found in the palms, that are found in the soles. Those are the preponderance of melanomas found in We've African Americans Remember and we had a Asian Americans. Uh -huh. That being said, however, there are a certain amount of ultraviolet induced. Sun, skin cancers that you see, and those are the ones that you see on the face, on the neck, and those can be in very light African Americans, very dark Latino or African Americans, but they can be seen in types five and six mm -hmm. skin colors, absolutely. And then squamous cells are the most common types of skin cancers found in African Americans, and squamous cells are found a lot on the lower legs, mm -hmm. and those are seen in darker skin types, and those can metastasize so and kill you. Something. And those are ultraviolet induced. And part period. of it is period, part of the, end of quotation. Is part of the problem that we have tended to be left out of the research? Mm. We're left out of the research, but we know enough to say that 65%, the five-year survival rate of melanoma in Caucasians is 91%. The five-year survival rate in African Americans is 65%. Wow. So darker skinned people die more often because we're underdiagnosed. So we still need to get mole checks, we still need to wear sunscreen, and we still need to be hypervigilant. Wow. Last because question. We die faster. Before, and this is for everybody. Mm -hmm. So you know when we put our hands, when you do the gel manicure, this is for anybody. Should mm -hmm. we put sunscreen on our hands before I do, we do I do all the do time you? before, yeah. Yeah. I because can because it's also aging your hands, and then I'm seeing a higher incidence of skin cancers in patients of all yeah, races. I'm in so much trouble you know, today. under the gel nails. So, <laughs> that's for yeah, everyone. Morgan, you're in trouble. Everybody. Everybody. That, 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 that is for anybody life. that does anybody gel nails. Anybody watching, Chanel, a lot of people fair, do the gel, and I thought about that. Question. You put it in there. And the Skin Cancer Foundation is on it with their facts, because it's only 1% to 2% of African Americans that are going to get skin cancers out of all the cancers that African Americans get. It's only 1% to 2%. So, I mean, I try to explain to people that it is still significant. But putting sun tan lotion on is probably not a good no, thing. No, no, no. Actually, Morgan, that's not. I can't not, do that no. at all. No, all right. No, no, no. You're going to get some natural color anyway. I just and looked stop. at the monitor. Your, your, just color, stop. your right. color is beautiful. I just love the yeah, sun. Your color is beautiful. I just love the sun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for coming in. All Thank right. you. Thank you for reading Ebony and not so much Ebony. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>